Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Faltamut Christus. Falabon Faltamut. Christos vos crescem. Voistin a vos crescem. Today as we gather on this third Sunday after Easter, we are presented with the profound narrative of the healing of the paralytic man. And in today's message, we witness not only a physical healing, but also a spiritual awakening. A testament to the boundless mercy and transformative power of um, our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reading upfolds at the pool of uh, Bethesda, a place of great significance where many gathered, hoping to receive healing through the uh, troubling of the waters. Amidst this gathering lay a man who had been afflicted by paralysis for 38 years. His condition symbolizes the spiritual paralysis that often afflicts our souls rendering us incapable of moving forward on the path of righteousness and salvation. And when Jesus Christ encountered this man, he didn't simply offer a temporary remedy or a fleeting solution. Instead, he asked a profound question. Do you want to be healed? This question penetrates to the core of our being, forcing us to uh, confront our own desires for healing and transformation. For many of us, the journey toward spiritual wholeness begins with a sincere desire to be made well. To relinquish the chains of sin and embrace the abundant life offered by our Lord Jesus Christ. Yet, despite the man's initial hesitation and the absence of human assistance, Jesus Christ commanded him to rise, pick up his mat, and walk. In an instant, the man was healed. He experienced the miraculous power of Jesus Christ's love and mercy. Likewise, Jesus stands ready to heal our spiritual infirmities, to lift us from the depth of this despair, and to empower us to walk in the light of his truth, Today's story does not end with the miraculous healing. Jesus Christ admonishes the man to sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. This admonition serves as a reminder that true healing requires a transformation of heart and mind a turning away from sin and the commitment to righteousness. As we reflect on this 
admon admonition, let us examine our own lives and identify those areas where we are in need of healing and restoration. Let us repent of our sins. Seek forgiveness. Strive to walk in obedience to God's commandments. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we, today as we uh, meditate on the healing of the paralyzed man, let us be reminded of the transformative power of Jesus Christ's love and necessity of sincere repentance. May all of us, like paralytic men, respond to Jesus Christ's invitation to be made well. And may all of us walk in the light of his truth all the days of our lives. Amen.